Did you consider anybody famous as a mentor? The most famous person I'd say is our city's current mayor, Anatoly Sobchak. We were all around 23 or 24. So Sobchak said to us, Vladimir is a bit older than the rest of you, so he will be the senior advisor. Anatoly Sobchak, are you a communist? Yes, I'm a communist. They were constantly together. They travel abroad a lot. And Britain, Margaret Thatcher at the time, because of my request, saved all of the Leningrad region practically for free. And in the end, we managed to rescue the rest of the region. If you show the barge on one day, and on another day, you show the film festival opening, or the meeting with the mayor of Paris, Jacques Chirac, you'll remember Jacques Chirac or Claudia Schiffer, but definitely not Sobchak unloading the grain from the barge, and tells them about his recent meeting with Cole, how he and Helmut Cole went to the Piscarevo Cemetery together, how Helmut Cole brought flowers and said all the right words about repentance, and then a veteran would stand up, his chest covered in medals, and he'd say, Mr. Mayor here has been telling us about coal. Now listen to me, comrades. The Germans have always been our enemy, and we'll keep on fighting them for as long as we live. And he'd get a standing ovation. All of today's newspapers said that our meeting today would collapse. So I'm telling you again, you yourself have collapsed. I noticed, especially when we traveled abroad, that foreign leaders saw Sobchak as a potential future Russian presidential candidate. And they would treat him as such. I'm not sure how Mr. Yeltsin felt about this but I heard from others that he didn't look upon it kindly. Not a single person believed in the possibility of electing a complete nobody in just a few short months. We came up with a brilliant slogan, Vote Sobchak out and Yakovlev in. In the morning, the whole city was covered in our posters, and the next day, everybody knew that there was this guy Yakovlev. Nobody knew who he was, but they knew he'd be elected instead of Sobchak. I think the televised debates played a big role in the outcome of the 96 election. Because within them, Mr. Sobchak behaved like that hero of 91, and Yakovlev behaved, just like most people said, like some maintenance man, plumber, etc. And at the time, the people simply wanted someone to fix their pipes. I will make deals with Moscow, with business people, with everyone who actually does something and doesn't just blabber. For the next 20-something years, not a single high-up Russian official will participate in electoral debates. Anatoly Sobchak lost the election by 15,000 votes, one and a half percentage points in a city of 5 million. Why did you finally decide to leave St. Petersburg and come to Moscow? Well, how do I say this? I'm sure you know that we held these elections. Vladimir Putin gets promoted to the position of the FSB KGB director. I resign. I want to ask you all for forgiveness. Maybe it's better for a person to die when he is on the rise, when he's full of hope. That's how it was with him. He was on the rise. He thought, my Vlad, he will be president now. I didn't make it, but he will.